yeah, we were we almost had that discussion on climate change, and you <laughs> yeah. sent me this video. Yeah. I know you care about uh, yeah. the environment. I know you're somewhat of an environmentalist, yeah. but what what what's your take on the environment and how to go about the problems and climate yeah. change in general? Yeah, there are preventions. Uh, there are preventions that you can do, you know, that everyone can do. So it's about, it's a matter of implementing it. Uh, it's it's quite hard, you know, to to fat a bit because if you if you don't understand nature, you you don't know how to fix it. If you don't spend more time in the nature, there, you, you couldn't understand what the what the purpose of it. You know, killing all these animals that are endangered species. What are the reasons? Uh, over, over are you an animal lover? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 I am. I am. Uh, the deforestation, <laughs> overkill of the fish, overfishing, you know, all those, all those really uh, overproduction of uh, the plastics. Are, are I'm really still quite. Ill. I'm quite. I'm still quite ill-informed regarding that. So maybe you could give me yeah, more yeah. insights on you can see the environment. I mean, all, you, all you see, all you need to do is to to look around. Look around you. It's already worst. It's already worse. We just don't feel it yet, right now. But I worry about that because of the next generations, already, especially if you are children, if you are kids. You, you look about the generation of these species are already gone. By the time the next 25 years, the next 50 years, it's already gone. So uh, how would you go about um, resolving that? How would you address those issues? Uh, for me, you know, it's all about it's all about the world leaders, you know. The, the the leaders the programs yeah yeah it's all about the system that they're implementing you know if they if these system if they're not going to be strict about it especially for the garbage that we're throwing right there if there's no consequences that you're giving to them then the people are still going to do the same and then what's going to happen in the next 50 years you know can you imagine we will multiply so 7 billion, 14 billion yeah. people in the next gonna, 50 years. Can you people imagine? are going to procreate more. Yeah. Can you we imagine? anticipate the world population to continue to rise, but we have to do something about all this garbage that's forming. And yeah. How can I think you fix it's about it? management. Yeah. It's about How can you fix it? Some other countries, it's they, about don't, control you know, they manage and management. the trash really well. Really, really well. But yeah. I think, bottom line, it boils down to implementation. Because I think it's easy to discuss like solutions, but how do you go about really exactly. carrying it out exactly. and implementing it and yeah. really doing it? Yeah, it's, it's hard, you know, because the world leader, it's, it, in, you know, you've been everywhere in the world, you know, you can, in Europe, wherever you go, America or even Singapore. Singapore has a very good, good system with the, with, the, with the trash. You, know, you can't see trash is anywhere you go in the, off the streets, you know. So there are countries like Japan, of course, you know. Uh, they, they manage it really well. So it, it, it really starts with, you, with the world leaders, you know. So if we don't treat uh, trash uh, seriously, it's really going to come, uh, come and destroy us. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's going to come to our shores. And you, can you imagine going, going there in the beach and there's trashes? <laughs> can you imagine going there? And then it's, you can't control Toxic, it. No? Just one storm, one storm, boom. All the trashes are going back to your city, to your towns, your nation just one storm can you imagine it one storm is going back to you all the trashes uh, so it's everywhere you know? so it's uh, for you it boils down to the world leaders and what they exactly how they address exactly. that how they address it it comes down to them you know no matter how good you are in explaining it no matter how mu how much solutions you have there it doesn't really matter unless the world leaders are gonna gonna do it anyhow Mm. Because if they implement it well, if there's a system it well, if they, they put up a system that we can fix this, then I think it's going to get better. You know, Philippines is just the worst. I think the, you think uh, we're the one biggest of the worst. polluter in the world. I think they're number two or even number one right now. I don't know. Yes, or second. Well, world. we're a third world, so I think that yeah. puts us behind also in terms yeah, of yeah, you know yeah. plus we have to deal with all these other issues like the economy and covid so like the environment might not necessarily be a priority uh, yeah exactly, exactly so it might it's not yeah, yeah. like on top of the list yeah, it's not it's not the priority but as you can see it's the biggest it's the biggest problem around there so, the biggest, but yeah, what are your thoughts on climate change we had sort of this back and forth like Oh, yeah. Exchange, but uh, we never really dug deep into it. Obviously, you can see it in the, in the iceberg right now. 
So, if you see, why is the iceberg collapsing? That's the biggest question. If you, you know, if, if we're not, if, 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 it, if it's not really affecting it, why is the iceberg collapsing? Yeah. Why is the sea level rising? So th those are the questions that we need to ponder on. Why is it happening right now? If we don't believe in climate change or if we don't believe in, in the ecosystem, the, the biodiversity that is being affected, why are these, ha these happening? You know, these are biggest reasons at the same time. So we well, I wouldn't label myself a climate change denier. Like I know there, like, there is climate change, yeah. but the problem I have with this climate change alarmism yeah, the alarmism, yeah. The aspect, alarmism like, yeah. like sometimes it's there's an agenda behind it or sometimes something is like blown out of proportion that's it but I'm all for of course taking care of the environment being responsible yeah but sometimes like there's some other agenda and I hope that's not the case but yeah. other than that I'm all for you know I, I'm not fully informed yet about climate change so I'm mm. not going to jump into conclusion and just deny like yeah, yeah. science like I'm sure there are reports there's data that we can assess yeah. but I have to admit that I'm not yet fully informed but my stance is I understand I I'm understand. N not for the alarmism aspect and I'm all for taking care of uh, the environment for the benefit of our future. Yeah, that should be non-negotiable. You see, taking care of the environment that should be non-negotiable. There, there, we have to do. We have to do something right now. Uh, yeah, we have to do something to rather the, than yeah, rather than nothing and yeah, just like passing it on <laughs> to the next generation. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine that you go into the beach that has never never been touched, and then when you go there, you see trashes out of nowhere. <laughs> can imagine that if you spend more time in nature, if you spend like, okay, going trekking, going to the mountains, you can see trashes anywhere. That's just the worst, you know. That's the worst. You know, you go to good places, really nice, lovely places, but all you see is trash. <laughs> it doesn't give any justice at all. And then who, who are suffering? All animals are suffering with it. Can you imagine it? That's why I'm telling, I'm talking about the ecosystem, the biodiversity, the biodiversity, the plastics around 8 billion tons of plastic. And can you imagine turtles, dolphins, fish, whale sharks, all that? Yeah. They eat a lot of tons of plastic and then they're going to die out of it. Because uh, they keep ingesting plastic. Yeah, exactly. So we're the ones poisoning our oceans. But the yeah. problem I have with that is how do we go about solving these really yeah. complex it, issues. It, yeah. yeah, exactly. That, that's the thing. Like, yeah, we can't stop that. And it's, that that's a major problem. <laughs> that's, yeah. Some like countries how, don't care what, about Are we going to stop like, driving cars or like, riding airplanes? How do we <laughs> go about resolving yeah, yeah. these like, also a different with story, realistic yeah. and like, sensible like, yeah, solutions? Yeah, yeah. But, well, I'm not saying stop, to stop cars though, but... Or uh, stop like... Yeah, like fossil, fossil fuels. Yeah, fossil like, fuels is also because it big boils down to CO2 emissions. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a big, uh, huge share of contribution to the, to what's got, the greenhouse, all that. So, uh, well, that's why I was in renewable energy resources before uh, the solar panels. So I learned a lot of things. Tons renewable of things energy. Why, yeah, why it could ha could help us at the same time. You see, if you see the space station, you know you can see a lot of solar panels and saying that it's powering up. Then so there's a lot of solutions are happening but are not fully implemented yet that we need a lot of studies at the same time not just to stop fossil fuels fossil fuels are very important yes uh, that's a good idea but yeah uh, in the future we don't know you know we don't know is that if that's going to sustain us because you know in the end oil oil <laughs> oil is a big is a big war to countries as you know yeah you oil know, is back in the day a, and it's a complex even issue. now so it's like even invasions in other countries to, to, to get resource. Get, <laughs> can, yeah. can you imagine that? So there's, there's a big issue we, can, uh, we worry about in the near future. So the people are not going to stop growing. Yeah. The people are not going to stop multiplying. <laughs> so the demands that we have in the world, that, that's, that's massive. Yeah, it's that's, about that's, like... That's, uh, that's really massive. So Managing that demand yeah. or like handling it properly because yeah. 
think these solutions, they're so complex sometimes, and there's different um, groups speaking out. And sometimes we, it's hard to discern like which to implement, which to follow. I just hope that whatever is implemented yeah. is the like practical choice or the practical solution that yeah, yeah. we don't end up wasting our resources or exactly. we don't end up wasting exactly. you well, know right now it's unstoppable wherever you go any islands or whatever resort <laughs> there's plastics everywhere yeah. yeah it's just it's just not beautiful to see yeah i just yeah. hope that because there are some like some groups that can benefit from this and sometimes the agenda becomes purely for profit so that's exactly. the danger that's exactly if there's another agenda exactly and it's being misused or it's being or this issue is being being uh, exploited for a different agenda and I think that's that's the danger with you know with crisis like this of course I don't I wouldn't downplay of course the importance of taking care of our environment the climate change like issues that that might uh, harm us but yeah I just hope the right decisions are made but these are complex issues so yeah. and i'm still quite limited in in the knowledge that uh, regarding yeah. there, there's the still knowledge a lot of I know. rooms however i mean the still knowledge a lot of rooms you know to, I, to I, learn from it and same time even i am still learning how 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 are they going to solve it and same time it's, it's a problem that you're going to be worried about because the more you spend time with nature the more you're going to be worrying about it because you can see it in front of you even the kids saw it they saw it, they see it, so it's just the worst. You know, it's sad reality that we live in right now. But yeah, I think it's really tough to resolve like complex issues. But we have to do something about them. It's just, I, ho hopefully, we make the right choices and we don't waste you know, these projects or whatever, like plans. Exactly. Resources. Like plans have to be concrete. Exactly. Yeah, it has to make sense also. It has to be feasible, it has to be realistic, it has to be implementable, yeah. Uh, so you're not, uh, for now, uh, well, you're not that much worried about uh, what's happening, uh, the climate change, or the, the environment, the environment is not really w what's worrying you about. Well, to a certain extent, of course, because it's a, it's a big issue that affects everyone, but since there's a lot going on also, like the economy, like yeah, running economy. a business, relationships, sometimes we have a lot of shit that we're dealing with that sometimes these things are set aside. So that's why, because there are so many complex problems that arise. That it's hard to go about them, so I think the best thing we can do is at least go about the, the problems that are in front of us and go about them the best way we can. Yeah, so that's my outlook. Then once we resolve these things, once we have these things in order, then eventually we can like delve into other problems. Like I think one step at a time, rather than you know trying to resolve everything and achieving nothing in the achieving end. Achieving nothing. Or like not getting anything done. Yeah. yeah like yeah, you're yeah. doing this, you're doing that without a concrete you know direction as to where all of it is going. So. That's my out, uh, that's my take and that's my philosophy on it, but yeah, it could vary. But <laughs> that's how I personally view it. Well, I guess um, election is coming up. <laughs> yeah, hopefully <laughs> we then, uh, we elect the right leaders, yeah, the right we, uh, yeah, people. It's really a big major issue that we need to to look on. You know, the people that we we voted on. <laughs> yeah, I hope yeah that we choose the right leaders who. Yeah lead us to the right path, of course.